very good morning so this is the extra class early in the morning but uh, we have to uh, record it also fine because there are students who have not turned up today in the morning so that's why i'll be putting it in the youtube link also you can see there uh, new chapter we are going to start you know that already we are having less number of periods so be very very particular tomorrow also you have the class please do come uh, background of the story is story is actually located in the village hosali uh, it was former situated in mysore village uh, mysore state and now it is in karnataka at present right so they will be explaining the beauty of hosali village in two pages when we start reading the chapter fine so beginning of the chapter will be with the uh, the third point i have written here quaint beauty of a south indian village quaint here stands for attractive unusually attractive fine and you can say beautiful in its own way and old fashioned when something is quaint it means that is old fashioned or unusually attractive meaning of quaint i told you fine right? so chapter will be starting with the village hosali's description firstly fine then now coming back to the characters we have protagonist is ranga no doubt the name of the chapter is after the name of protagonist only ranga's marriage please note down jyoti so ranga's marriage is the main concept so ranga is the character uh, main character and uh, i want to disclosing everything in the beginning only because we will be reading narrator is the second important character or you can say equivalent important character to ranga because narrator will be present in the whole chapter by the end of the chapter we'll get to know his name so by the time i'll be addressing him as narrator only fine and then we have third character ratna ratna is the girl uh you can say actress of the story we have one actor or actress hero or heroine so in that way ranga will be falling in love with this young girl and what is the age of this girl she is 11 year old 11 year old girl and she lives in village hosali only from uh from that side please so let's start uh, i'll be just giving you the gist what we are going to read actually so ranga's marriage is actually the main theme is the first one i have written the themes in on priority basis multiple themes are there conflict between traditions versus modernity now this is a lifelong question till date if we can have debate on it fine people you know traditions does not mean that uh, your attire or if you follow the norms of the society so there is conflict between traditions and modernity you tell me what does it mean to be modern yes diljit tell me if i say a person is modern what does it mean personality what else way of speaking way of thinking can we consider that the broader thinking and the narrow thinking yes you are saying sit down so mainly uh, we when we think of traditions and modernity we think of the broader view of anything and conservative view of anything or narrow way fine so but it it has nothing to do if a person follows traditions yes nidhi if a person follows traditions like suppose you have some traditions in your family do you think that that person is not modern so there is no fixed definition of modernity and traditional being traditional if a person is having broad uh, point of view of any concept but he still follows the traditions fine it can be possible also so all the ways are possible second thing is now there will be conflict now why the conflict between traditions versus modernity because ranga he is the son of village accountant in his village nobody has gone Uh, outside the city to uh, for higher studies so he belongs to an old fashioned village where people give due weightage to traditions people give due weightage to uh, you can say the customs of the society norms of the society and uh, ranga will be the one who will be going outside he will be moving to a metro city he is not going abroad 
He's going to metro city from his village Hosali. He'll be going to, I guess, Bangalore. So he goes there and for higher studies. And after five years, he comes back. So Ranga's homecoming is a great event for people in village Hosali because nobody has gone out. So when he returns back, people gathered over there in a group to see what is the change in the Ranga now. The way he dresses up, the way he speaks, he will be a different personality for them. It is a kind of magic. What is going to happen to him? So they are so curious to know. So when he comes back, everybody is waiting for Ranga. But uh, then that is conflict. And Ranga has changed his thought of, he has uh, got the broader view in the metro city. Now he has seen, he marriages of your own choices. He thinks that, Ranga thinks that one should marry with a girl of same age. Keep on sitting with her, please. Either sit. So uh, Ranga believes that one should get married with a girl of same age. There should not be much uh, age gap. In the traditional times, people should, you know, parents were there, they would marry off their girl at young age with an elder person only. So he never believed in that. Ranga says, Ki, okay, I believe in that it should be equal match. One should go for marriage with one's own choice, love marriage. Fine. When you have mindsets, mindset should be matched. That is important. But narrator still lives in the village Hosali only. He also believes that that other person can see who's the better match for you. Your parents or the people who know you. Fine. They can find a better match because that person knows you also. That person knows the other person also. And he can uh, think that, okay, these two persons can live together because their match is up to the mark. So narrator believes in that kind of thought. That is a theme tradition versus modernity. There is conflict between the two. What is going to happen in the chapter that I will not disclose uh, which side is going to win. This is not a winning and losing. Actually, we cannot, you know, predetermined our feelings. We cannot predetermine anything in our life. Our choices should be clear. Our vision should be clear. But something, uh, destiny is also there. Destiny can play a vital role in your life. That we will see. So then quaint beauty of a South Indian village. I told you village Hoshali is a South Indian village. Typically, they will be explaining the creepers, the leaves, how people eat on the leaf and uh, scenic beauty, which uh, fruit, uh, mango and all. Uh, they will be uh, the soreness of the mango. They will be means author has, narrator has explained the beautiful, uh, uh, you can say he was given the beautiful description of the village that you will be using, he will be using imagery into it that you will reach there after listening to the description of the village. Okay, Esa hai village, foothills of Aravali and all. Proper description is given, okay? So then never forget your roots. That is the last theme I have written, that one should not uh, uh, forget one's basic uh, roots from where do you come from? People, what they do when they go abroad, when they go to metro cities, they uh, and at the home they are living very humble background, and when they find something different, they change. So Ranga has gone to metro city for five years, and he's the only person who has gone to metro city. But he comes back, he never forgets his roots. People were gathered to see what is the change, but he comes and he starts touching the feet of all the elderly people in the village. That shows that he has not forgotten the roots. So Ranga is epitome of uh, traditions also. You cannot say that, yes, his thought process has changed. So uh, that's why I asked you in the beginning that a person who follows the traditions can be modern also. Clear? So you got the introduction? Fine. So we are going to, uh, now we'll be reading. There are more characters will be coming up, minor characters that we can add on. So Ranga's marriage, Ranga, the accountant's son, you can open your book with a snapshots. I got by mistake, I thought it was in another book. Snapshots, third chapter, page number 16. I won't be sharing the screen. All you have book, yes, send me your feedback that you are listening to me. All of you, those who are listening. Very important chapter we are doing. Japan and Kathy, yes, Kathy has done Japan. Are you there? Everybody has sent the feedback. So is it clear to you all? Let's start. Ranga, the accountant's son, is one of the rare breed among the village folk who has been to the city. 
to pursue his studies a uh, please close the door raman so why they are saying rare breed rare is you know that strange so why is rare because nobody has gone out of the village for higher studies so that's why he is being referred to as rare who has been to the city to pursue his studies when he returns to his village from the city of bangalore the crowds mill around his house mill around means gather around so crowds come together to see that how ranga has been how he has changed and his ideas about marriage are now quite different or are they so this is a question mark even the narrator has given not given the answer the narrator is saying that his ideas about marriage are now quite changed fine when after going to the city after visiting metro city of seeing the people meeting new uh, people over there so he is changed his thought process is changed but not uh, traditions but are they changed totally or not let's see when you see this title now narrator is better going to talk to you all that uh, why i chose the title ranga's marriage and all fine so when you see this title some of you may ask ranga's marriage why not rangnatha vivah or rangnath vijaya well yes i know i could have used some other mouth filling one like jagannath vijaya or girija kalyana but then this is not about jagannath's victory or girija's wedding it's about our own ranga's marriage and hence no fancy title so first question we have done why uh, did uh author choose the title ranga's marriage this is the answer to this you have a question ncrt question that why did the author choose the title ranga's marriage so he is saying that uh, i could have chosen he is saying i could have chosen a very fancy title and with embellished vocabulary like rangnath vivah rangnath vijaya jagannath vijaya or girija kalyana means after reading that name you will be getting the goosebumps ki okay this is something very uh, heavy fine but he is saying i chose very simple title because this is about our on ranga he wanted that people can relate when you go to watch movie and when they have shown very you can say over the board things you cannot connect yourself but when you see realistic things which is happening in your homes then you start liking the movie because you can relate yourself yourself with the character of the story so similarly he is saying that i have chosen very simple character ranga so this is about our own ranga that's why i have chosen very simple title okay so now uh, after this telling us why ranga's marriage the title he is going to talk about uh, the beauty of this village hosali so please keep pencils in your hand you need to underline hosali is our village you must have heard of it no what a pity so he's saying uh, have you heard of it of course you have not so what a pity means he's saying that you have not heard of our village it is very bad for you that you must have read about it this is so beautiful village you should know hosali is our village you must have heard of it no what a pity but it is not your fault why you are not fault because there is no mentioning of it in any geography book so geography is the study of land and land areas and demarcations that where the state or city like these days you putting locations also so even the street or the shopkeeper you not you might not have but you might have seen on zomato and swiggy how they give locations and you get to know the each and every detail so he is telling us that it's not your fault if you have not heard of village hoshali because there is no mentioning of it fine on any geography book those sahibs in england writing in english probably do not know that such a place exists so he is saying that people who invented the, the subject of geography or the people who demarcated the lands so people in england specifically probably they do not know that our uh, village also do exist so that's why there is no mentioning of our village hoshali in the on the map that's why you do not know clear our own people too forget about it you know how it is they are like a flock of sheep right flock of sheep flock you know that group 
फाइन भेड़ चाल जिसको बोल देते हैं तो ही सेइंग नाउ इज गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट द पीपल ऑफ विलेज आल्सो सो दे आर लाइक फ्लॉक ऑफ शीप दे टू फॉरगेट अबाउट इट यू नो हाउ इट इज दे आर लाइक अ फ्लॉक ऑफ शीप वन शीप वॉक्स इनटू अ पिट द रेस्ट ब्लाइंडली फॉलो इट व्हेन बोथ द साहिब्स इन इंग्लैंड एंड देयर ऑन ज्योग्राफर्स हैव नॉट रेफर टू इट यू कैन नॉट एक्सपेक्ट द पुअर कार्टोग्राफर टू रिमेंबर टू पुट इट ऑन द मैप कैन यू नाउ ही सेइंग सी द uh venkatesha ayyengar is the name of this uh, writer ranga's marriage Cha- title ke niche dekhiye masti venkatesha ayyengar is the name of the writer so beautifully he has described the chapter there is a way of describing the story so narrator is very you know uh, creative in explaining the thing so he is saying ki, firstly english people they forget to put hoshali on the map then you know people are like blind followers we people follow foreign people blindly whatever they do we follow if they jump into the pit we will also jump into the pit they have not described hoshali on the map so our own indian geographers they did not mention hoshali in the map so this is what he wants to prove so if they have not done how can you expect the poor cartographers to remember to put it on the map can you cartographers who are the cartographers you know that we have a huge maps and dictionaries are uh, related to those places dictionaries are of n number of types you know that we have medical dictionary different we have dictionary we have thesaurus thesaurus is the dictionary of all the synonyms like for uh, fine so in that way we have different kind of dictionaries encyclopedias and all so cartographers are the people who are responsible for putting all the names all together in one book or maps fine so he is saying if england people they did not they forgot to put the name of our village then indian geographers did not then how can you expect cartographers to put the name in the map or in the books fine so this is the way he is just telling us so there is not even the shadow of our village on any map so this is it he is saying that our mentioning of our village is villages nowhere to be found so you cannot get any information except i am going to tell you so this is the way of preparing you that listen to me otherwise you will lose so the narrator is saying that you will not get description of this village anywhere else but i am going to tell you and he has given very lively description lively samajhte ho that you suppose you visited something a place and i ask you to tell me uh where were you last night you start describing the party or the function in that way that we i start imagining and i reach there only means description by using imagery by using adjectives if i say a girl with a red gown having huge bun dekhi aapko bhi so this is am the way so in the case of boys i can say uh, the the tall dark handsome boy was riding classic bullet model so then you start imagining boys are coming on the bullet in that way whatever imagery i am using it is forming an image in your mind clear to capture your attention similarly writer is going to use n number of words to describe the picturesque beauty of hoshali so let's read about that village sorry i started somewhere and then i went off in another direction ठीक है ये भी मेरे जैसा ही है आई स्टार्टेड समवेयर एल्स एंड रीच समवेयर देन सो नरेटर इज सेइंग आई स्टार्टेड विद रंग रंगास मैरिज एंड नाउ आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट कार्टोग्राफर्स एंड ज्योग्राफर्स एंड सो ही इज बीइंग सॉरी सेम एज आई एम सो इफ द स्टेट ऑफ माय सूर इज टू अंडरलाइन दिस लाइन इफ द स्टेट ऑफ माय सूर इज टू भारतवर्ष भारतवर्ष मींस इंडिया फाइन इफ द स्टेट ऑफ माय सूर इज टू भारतवर्ष व्हाट द स्वीट kari gabadu is to a festival festive meal then hoshali is to mysore state what the filling is to kari gabadu you need to understand this he is saying is giving example the way of giving example is different i told you so he is saying that jaise mysore is for bharatvarsh so what is the position of mysore village mysore state mysore to you might have heard fine so whatever if you know about mysur to bharatvarsh whatever mysur is to india and what the sweet kari gabadu see the name uh, is written one meaning is written at the footnotes 
kari gabado is a south indian fried sweet filled with coconut and sugar so it's a sweet haan ji idhar dhyan dijiye aap please so it's a sweet having coconut filling inside it fine every dashera what do you eat you tell me yes she is right ye ek jalebi khati hai pakka se immediately she said okay so uh, similarly some things are associated with one particular occasion clear immediately she said jalebi so she knows that uh, jalebi is that important uh, sweet in punjab during the dashera so similarly every state every place has something important so kari gabado is that uh, coconut and sugar filled uh, sweet fine which is quite uh, you know having importance over there so they are saying that ki koi hamara jo festival hai south indian logon ka that is incomplete without this mithai without this sweet fine similarly mysore is very important to the bharatvarsh state and uh, what i have said is absolutely true believe me and then hoshali is to mysore state ki agar hoshali mysore mein nahi hoega it means the filling is not present in that sweet clear if i take all the filling of coconut and sugar out of the kari gabadu that mithai to wo mithai rahegi kya nahi rahegi there is no importance of that so similarly if i take hoshali village out of mysore state it is of no importance so he is actually telling you that my village is so important to state of mysore it is heart of that state okay this is the way of highlighting the importance yes is it clear to all online children are you getting it i'm just checking apne liye sunna hai this is your way agar nahi sunoge to fir aapka hi loss hai wo uh okay almost all are sitting all are there yes good so uh what i have said is absolutely true believe me i will not object to your questioning it but i will stick to my opinion so author is saying i will stick to what i said my opinion he is very strong opinionated personality so author is trying to explain that i am not the only one who speaks glowingly of hoshali glowingly means he is in favor of this uh, a uh, state or you can say village she saying i am not the only one who speaks good about my village because you know you live at a place you get connected emotionally connected to the place and you start uh, you can say favoring it he says we have a doctor in our place now he is going to give example of someone else ki agar aap kehte ho na ki main hi kyu praise kar raha hu hoshali ki there is a doctor in our place his name is gundbhat because south indian hai so names aise hi hoenge fir fine so his name is gund bhat he agrees with me he has been to quite a few places why he is saying doctor because there is very rare chances of getting villages a uh, people becoming doctors and lawyers and accountants in out of such simple villages so ek hi doctor usko jo pata hai ki those the doctor who has been to abroad also his name is gund bhat he agrees to me that village hoshali is quite important he has been to different places no not england if anyone asks him whether he has been there he says no anya anya is jaise bade bhai ko keh dete hain anna fine in that way in south india jaise aap bolte ho na vire in punjabi fine in that way they say anna or anya so this is very quite common word there he says that if he has not been to england i have left that to you running around like a flea pestered dog is not for me i have we i have seen a few places in my time though as a matter of fact he has seen many so he is telling that he's not been to england means it's not like that everybody has to go abroad only to be a doctor so doctor says that i'm not a flea pestered dog jo bhagta rehta hai without any reason when flea kisko kehte hain pata hai सोच रहे हो नो बड़ी इज रिस्पॉन्डिंग वॉट हैपन वॉट इज अ फ्ली पेस्टर डॉग हेव नो आइडिया सो ही इज जस्ट सेंग ही इज जस्ट गिविंग कंपेरिजन दैट रनिंग अराउंड लाइक यू माइट हैव सीन दैट इफ अ डॉग इज देयर ही विल बी जस्ट टेकिंग राउंड एंड राउंड इफ समथिंग इज फ्ली इज देयर उसके ऊपर कुछ बैठ गया है so he keeps on moving in a circle and all 
So he's saying, I'm not mad. The standing at a one place all the time. So doctor is using such words. Doctor is saying that I'm not a person who is stagnant. I have been to quite a few places. I keep on moving, but not, not England. So I have seen many places, but he also says ki Hoshali is very good. Jo person, atni jaga ghuma ho, that person knows the importance of one particular place. Ki sirf main nahi keh the doctor also says, it means he's trying to highlight the importance of the village. Clear? Now he's going to talk about, I told you that aaj to village ke baare mein pad hum. So tomorrow uh, in the morning again, at the same time you have to come. We will start very interesting story. You will relish it because it's a story which uh, students of your age, they relish because it's about concept of marriage. It's about, it's not about that. It will be giving you some, uh, you know, broader viewpoint with how we think in life and how we should think that also. So we have some mango trees in our village underlying. Mango trees are very important here because he's going to give some importance and a question is also there. Come visit us and I will give you a raw mango from one of them. Do not eat it. Just take a bite. See, Kitna means clever uh, explain. Kar rahe. He's saying that you come to our village, Hoshali, I will give you one of the raw mangoes. Wo kachcha aam hota hai jo. Do not eat that. Just take a bite. The sourness is sure to go straight to your Brahmarandra. Now, what does it mean? In Kannad language, this word comes from because he's South Indian is using that Kannad language. The soft part in a child's head where skull bones join later. Here used as an idiomatic expression to convey the extreme potency of sourness. Now, you might have heard, this is connected. When you take birth, when a child takes birth, do not you know, touch this place and all. So this is something connected. So because we have whatever taste, sometimes you have to lag jata hai. Then you start coughing like anything. You know, this is very common thing. When you eat something, uh, when you eat golgappas and when you eat chutneys and when you eat something sour, fine? Then you start coughing because we have a very delicate area over here, fine? Medical students can use the word. I'm not a medical student. So you can tell me the better word for this. So he's saying that raw mangoes go straight into that part of your throat where you can feel the exact that tinge, that how you feel it. So he's saying, I once took one such fruit home and a chutney was made out of it. All of us ate it. The cuff we suffered from after that, it was when I went for the cuff medicine that the doctor told me about the special quality of the fruit. So he's saying that it is that sore, itna khatta, it's that sore that if you take a bite of it, you will definitely get cough and sore throat out of it. So he's telling the, the way of telling the sourness of the mangoes, right? Just as the mango is special, so is everything else around our village. We have a creeper growing in the ever so fine water of the village pond. Its flowers are a feast to behold. So he's telling that in a village pond is there creepers, jo bail hoti hai. That is there. Flowers are growing like anything. So this is a feast. If you see this, this is beautiful. Get two leaves from the creeper when you go to the pond for your bath. And you will not have to worry about not having leaves on which to serve the afternoon meal. So he's telling that old fashioned. I told you, you know, quaint beauty of South Indian village. Quaint beauty means here unusual, old, traditional, old fashioned way. So people, you know, they still believe in that the leaves, you know, you might have seen people eating on leaves in South India. By Italy, or Chai, Kuch, or they keep on big leaves and then they eat and they do not hesitate. It's good way. We are also turning into that. And again, we are going back to old fashioned ways. You have seen the fashion up, up, career, polka dots, and eating of the some objects or some um, eating materials also, or the way you dress up also. Everything is dating back to the same time. So it is a cycle only, recycling. So here he's saying that it is not, you can see people taking the leaf for a bath and you can see people taking the meal on the leaf. Means multiple uses of the leaves of the trees in the village Hoshali. Fine? Clear? Eh? So he's saying, you will say I am rambling. Rambling means 
uh, bada chada ke bolna just to for the sake of showing it off he saying you might be thinking that i'm rambling the things it is always like that when the subject of our village comes up kehta if you talk to uh, talk to me about my village i will always ramble i will always uh, give the description to that level it is always like that but enough if any one of you would like to visit us drop me a line i will let you know where hoshali is and what things are like here the best way of getting to know a place is to visit it don't you agree underline this the best way of getting to know a place is to visit it so he is saying if you would like to know more about my place come visit us so what i'm going to tell you is something what happened 10 years ago yahan se story shuru honi hai ranga ki jo aapki kal shuru ho payegi theek hai so uh, i will not start reading today because only 2 minutes are there then your first period starts you can start putting the dates over there drishti so uh, tomorrow morning i will be starting about ranga now ranga has come out after uh, completing his uh, 